What's up guys? So I'm actually on my way to do uh, another fix for this car unfortunately it's actually something in the door panel that they replaced but I wanted to make this video today because I wanted to ask you guys what you think makes someone a car guy and I personally have broken it down into three different aspects um, this is just from what I've seen and what I've seen people attack other people about and uh, you know kind of get on their backs um, and it's basically like the three categories that I think are really like everyone focuses on when they consider someone a car guy or not so category number one is can that person name off every single car at a car meet or can they just name off you know any type of sports car on the road um, year make model all that I'll tell you right now I'm not that type of guy I can't do that I know all the makes and models for cars I enjoy cars I've always you know liked as a kid and all that but I couldn't tell you every single type of Beamer because I personally I'm not a Beamer guy um, and I don't think that's like a huge thing that makes someone a car guy or not. I think it's more of, you know, you know the cars that you enjoy and you know the cars that you actually, you, you like their design and you like what they you know, basically what that car is. Um, you're not going to have a guy who's into trucks know everything about sports cars. So I think there's different types of car people and for that reason I don't think a car guy has to be someone who knows every single type of make and model of, um, you know, any type of car. Um, Category number two is mechanics. So a lot of people bash other car guys or you know other people on how much mechanical knowledge and how much knowledge they have of how a car functions. So me personally, um, I'm, and I'm just using myself as an example because I would say I'm a car guy, but you know some people would say I'm not. And I'll let you guys know how much I uh, or how much knowledge I have in each of these categories, or you know. The last uh, category isn't really knowledge, but I'll get to that when I get to that. Um, so I have limited mechanical knowledge. I took three years of auto classes, and I know how the, uh, an engine functions. I know how gear ratios work. I know how torque is converted, all that stuff. But as far as like me working on my own car and like doing everything on my own, I don't think I'd be able to do it. And a lot of people bash other people um, on YouTube videos and whatnot over you know mechanical information so my question to you guys on that section is how much mechanical knowledge do you have to have or do you have to have any to be a car guy or to be a car person um, and I say keep saying car guy but you know car guy car girl um, honestly it's an uh, interchangeable term I just say car guy because it's kind of like mankind it's this term that's been given to the people who like cars unfortunately but anyways going on so category number three and the final thing that I've really noticed and if you guys have any other categories you'd like to add make sure to add it into the comment section but the really the third big thing I've noticed is that people really attack people on is how clean they keep their car and how well they maintain it and that's the real reason I made this video because it was my first time going on a rally this past weekend during Monterey car week and I noticed that a lot of people with really nice cars were driving their cars, pushing them to the limits, and honestly, they were just enjoying the cars. They didn't care about all these little rock nicks, and um, uh, there was this Aventador SV that got a huge crack in its windshield. There was a P1 on the run. They were getting mud on these cars, um, and you can see that on my Instagram, by the way. I'm not trying to advertise it, but there's a picture on the, my Instagram, which is supercar.shift, uh, and there's this Ferrari 458 Special, and it's just covered in mud. And it got me to thinking, is a car guy someone who garages his car all the time? You know, when they go to McDonald's, they sit there next to the window and make sure that they can see their car at all times. Or is a car guy the guy who drives the car all the time, you know, dogs it out, makes sure he pushes it to its limits and enjoys it, you know, every bit of it. So, or do you think it's like a middle ground between there? And I shot this video in the Z06 on purpose because I don't know if you can tell from the video, the car's pretty dirty right now. I haven't washed it since the fuel run. I haven't had time. I've been working. But I still consider myself a car guy. I don't have someone else wash the car. I personally hand wash it um, just because I don't trust anyone else. So I would say I'm somewhere in between. But I still drive the car, um, you know, on back roads and make sure I do enjoy it. So, yeah, that's really why I made the video. Um, let me know what you guys think, what makes someone a car guy, if, you know, those categories are what really factor into it, um, or if there's other categories that factor into someone being a car guy or not. 
Uh, do a comment down in the comment section and let me know. Uh, tell me what you guys think and let me know if you guys consider yourselves car guys and why you would consider yourself a car guy. If it's your first time stopping by the channel and you enjoyed the video, do make sure to subscribe. And to everyone who has been subscribed and been liking and commenting on the videos, I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.